okay questions such as these a the log of 2 log of 2 meaning this is base 2 base 2 this was a base and then it remained into that log of 2 here there is log of x meaning you have to convert to similar bases these are also exponential and logarithmic functions where you have in of something in of something or e to the power x of something and so how to solve a you have your a will say if my a my a is such that okay my a is such that i have um, log of 2 and x being added to log of 2 when you have your 9 take away 2x everything being equal to 2 there you have to factorize the log of 2 and so once you factorize the log of 2 you have log of 2 open brackets and then look at the logs and then look at the numbers after the logs if there is addition it means initially it was multiplication so x is multiplying 9 take away 2x then we close and then we say this should equal to 2 okay and so log of 2 there you have 9 x take away 2 x to the power 2 being equal to 2 and so if we were having a log of 2 on this side it was also there so the anti-log cancels that this one goes you only have that and that too since it was a, a base it will take the place of that and this two that uh, number that will be found them will be raised to the power of that therefore we we'll have 9x take away 2x squared equal to 2 times 2 okay and then all of these numbers to the right hand side it means 2x to the power 2 take away 9x already there is a positive of that so you can have a zero okay and so this becomes a quadratic we can solve it you have four if we want, we can use factorization, completing by square method or by formula. So let's use the formula. We'll now say if our equation is that, if our equation is that, and then we raise it to the power. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the root of b to the power 2 take away 4ac everything over 2a okay and so this is our a this is our b okay and that is our c Therefore, it's just a matter of substitution. When your x will have a negative b, meaning a negative of a negative, and then we'll have a negative of b to the power 2 for a c. Everything over 2 times a. Everything over 2 times a. Therefore, this becomes simplified now. To simplify to x 
being equal to you can add or subtract 9 times 9 81 check away 4 or we can just say 4 times 4 16 times 2 32 so we are taking away 32 everything over 2a meaning it's 4 2 times 2 okay and then we'll now say x is therefore equal to 9 plus okay there you have your 81 we are taking away that okay it will be your 9 okay 49 over 4 okay and so we don't have enough space so we raise the top part and say if that's the case then we'll have two values x being equal to 9 plus or minus the root of 49 is 7 because it's 7 times 7 so you have 7 over 4 meaning the two values will be 9 plus 9 plus 7 and then divide by 4 the other one will be 9 take away so the two values will be x equal to 9 plus 7 over 4 the other one will be x is equal to 9 take away 7 over 4 the two values of x therefore x will be 16 over 4 the other one will be x is equal to 2 over 4 therefore x will equal to 4 the other x is a half okay so that is number one that's how you find the value of x and then we'll say, having found x equal to half, okay. Okay, we'll create enough space because we've solved the top part. The top part is gone. Okay, the last part we can solve and then we come to change of base. So C. You have in open brackets 3 take away x you close equal to 4 in of in of x and then you say in there was also in in so you bring the antilog of in meaning e of x this will open that will go the, there was uh, there was multiplication here for the log to find itself in addition form we are multiplying 4 by the e of x of that and so we we'll say e of x we we'll say e of 4 is multiplying x okay and then we we'll say 3 take away x is equal to e of 4, then we we'll have an x there. Okay? And so e of 4, press on your calculator e of e, and then on the value of x put 4, it will be a number, a coefficient of x. Therefore, 3 when we collect like terms it will be such that e of x or e of 4 of x that's when you add the x okay so e to the power 4 of x plus an x will have something a number over the x and then we divide both sides by the very number the very number you get the value of x 
Okay. Okay. On that one, we'll say there is there are different bases there. Therefore, we need to convert this to base 2 so we can work well with the same bases. And so, we'll say this very log of x. Okay? This very log of x. Log of x. We'll have a 2 here. Let's equate it to a. Okay? Such that if you raise the, to the power of the base, you only have to, here you have x of a. Bring it on the other side, you have x of a being equal to 2. Introduce the logs, you drop the power. Log of x will equal to log of 2. But remember, we want it. Uh, we want this log in base 2, so we say 2, 2, and then we divide, so we know the value of, we know the value of A. Okay, cancel, cancel, therefore your A is equal to log 2, 2, over log 2 of X. And so, if our A is log of x of 2, therefore in base 2, our A is that. And you know very well that log 2 of 2 is 1. Therefore, it will mean 1 log 2 of x is equal to A. So, it will come here where there is log of x. Okay, so that's how we convert to base, change of base, until we get that. So, when solving, we'll just go straight. Okay, we'll go straight and substitute the value of A where there is 9 log of that. So, say, this is the same as saying, log log 2x is equal to 8 plus 9 substitute the value of that if our a is that substitute that value here we will now say it's the same as saying 1 over log 2 of x now we have log 2 log 2. It's the same as saying log 2 of x being equal to 8 plus 9 times 1 to be 9 and then log 2 of x. And then we'll come up with an equation of saying let everywhere where you see log 2x equal to a certain value of y. Okay, so where we are seeing log of that, we'll put y, we'll put y. And so, we'll say, when solving, we'll now say, where we are seeing log 2x being equal to 8 plus 9 log 2x. Let's substitute with a value of y. And so here all I'm seeing is y. Here all I'm seeing is 8 plus 9 over over y. This is where now the quadratic comes in. Because this number is over 1. We we'll have 8y plus 9. Okay, being equal to being equal to y when that y is over that. 
and then you cross multiply so when you cross multiply you have y to the power 2 being equal to 8y plus 9 therefore y squared take away 8y okay take away 9 or equal to that everything to the left and so we we'll say we have 9 we only want 8 here and so that will mean y to the power 2 when we have uh, when we have a negative of 9 added to y take away 9 equal to that when we factorize we we'll have y take away 9 when we factorize okay we we'll have 1 y take away 9 therefore the two values of uh, y if we are to write them here okay you have y plus 1 multiplying 9 take away that meaning the other value of y when it's we equate this to 0 it will be 9 the other one will be y equal to neg 1 okay and th and so you say remember we said every value of y is equal to log 2 of x but the values of y are 9 and neg 1. So, we we'll say let log 2 of x equal to 9. Therefore, the antilog of that will mean 2 to the power of 9. Meaning 2 to the power of 9. That's the first one. The other one will be log of 2x being equal to a negative of 1 as y. This will mean x being equal to 2 to the power inverse of 1. Meaning 1 over the base number will mean value of x being equal to that, the other one equal to that. Okay. And so that's how you calculate